forward, claiming he took their settlement money, didn't pay their medical bills, and in some cases, never actually filed their lawsuit in court. But will the state be pressing for criminal charges against him? Six News reporter Andrew Moore has been digging up answers in this Six News investigation. Andrew. Imani, it's one thing for an attorney to get a bad review, but in Christopher Norman's case, it's a lot worse than that. The Texas Supreme Court has now stated in documents that we found, quote, Christopher James Norman's resignation is in the best interest of the public, the profession, and Christopher James Norman. But what did he do to get to this point, and will he face any criminal charges? The answer has surprised us, and they will probably surprise you. You just seemed like a personal injury attorney. It didn't seem like a bad guy, a little office over here on Tremere. Lawrence Jones' son, Matthew, hired Christopher Norman in July of 2016 after Matthew was hurt in a car wreck. Family says Norman was supposed to settle with the insurance company and pay the doctors. But after several months, they saw no progress. Always an excuse, call me in a month. It was always call me next month. Then a year passed, then two years. Finally, Matthew called the Texas State Bar Association and the insurance company and he found out the truth. And they told him that the, the case had settled in February of 2017. The check was for $20,000 and displayed a signature from Matthew Jones that he says was forged. The family had never seen a penny. He kept the money. And the Jones family aren't the only ones. Dolores White hired Norman in a malpractice case in 2012. She says Norman strung them along for years, but claimed to have settled the case in 2017. But it was a paper stating, um, you know, it had the doctor's name on it. It had that we were settling for the amount that we settled for. We had me come in and sign. But according to documents from the Supreme Court of Texas, Norman never actually filed the case. So you don't know what you signed? Now, actually, no, I don't. And because the statute of limitations ran out, there is no way for her to refile. Supreme Court of Texas documents detail other complaints against Norman, where he'd never filed cases, allegedly committed fraud, and didn't pay medical providers. The State Bar of Texas was considering disciplinary action against him, but then he resigned. And he owes him $15,000. The court then ordered Norman to return his clients money and documents, but Jones says to date, Norman has only paid the family $3,500. But what happens when a resigned attorney doesn't obey a written order from the Supreme Court of Texas? According to the Texas Bar's Office of Chief Disciplinary Counsel, not much. An email from the office states, once we disbar someone or they resign, there isn't much we can do to them. If they're still taking on clients, we would want people to let us know because the Unlicensed Practice of Law Committee could file a suit against them or law enforcement could act. Not the response Jones family had expected. It's beyond surprising. It sounds to me like if you're an attorney, you have a different angle on the law and you, and you really can't be prosecuted unless... People take it into their own hands. So the family is now considering starting a criminal case with law enforcement. Six News called and texted Norman Friday and didn't get a response, but Matthew Jones told us on the phone he then got a call from Norman within the hour. I said, you know, okay, Chris, what, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? And he finally said it. He said, I, will, I want you to uh, contact Andrew Moore and tell him that, you know, that if the payment's going to be taken care of, I'm going to be paid, and that you, won't part well, you will not participate in this story. The Jones family says they would like to get that money back, but if an attorney doesn't follow an order from the Texas Supreme Court, there should be consequences. If he can do it, then another attorney can do the same thing out there. So does this mean there is nothing the Texas Bar can do for these families? Well, not exactly. There is something called the Client Security Fund, which can reimburse people if they can prove an attorney stole their settlement or still owes them money. But getting that money back can take over a year. To learn more about that fund, go to KCENTV.com. Six News is going to continue to follow the Jones case and other cases to see if they are paid back in full. Imani.